does <laughs> look like that. <laughs> no. and we really? have an uh, opening F4. F4. F4, okay. Wesley said, I like what I got with black. I'm going to try to again. do the same thing with white. I'm, I'm happy that we have one more game. Yep. <laughs> Well, again, just well, we, to we may have that, more than that. Yeah, I mean, Wesley is at the cusp. Wow, D5 by Magnus. All he I needs like is it. a draw in this game, and he will be uh, world champion. A D5. I like the dynamic challenge to F4. Right. Doing, trying to create something unbalanced about the structure. Black looking to dominate the light squares in exchange for white star squares. It you know, creates something to fight for, perhaps. And I especially like the idea of... of angling for queen on e8 to a4. a4. You just want to get the queen out of the way right. so that castles on either side is possible. And e4. e4. Wow, and that goes okay. took very quickly. That was yeah. a little bit unanticipated was the move e4 for me. And Magnus quickly uh, <laughs> developing the knight on f8, so looking for a better square. The problem yeah. with knight f6, which is ideal, is the bishop on g8 is going to then go to h7. I was just thinking that Magnus might have played h6 instead of knight d7 instead with the same knight ideas of uh, going for that diagonal for his bishop, but uh, the world champion played knight d7. Yeah. So, Boko, what do you think about this approach from Wesley? Very aggressive with e4, more than we saw Magnus do with the first move. Yeah, I, I see that he uh, kind of doesn't think that, okay, I need to draw this game. He's just uh, taking it as game, game by game and mm -hmm. uh, move by move. Uh, but when it comes to concrete results, uh, he's fine to take draw, of course, uh, as we've seen in the first game. But I must say that uh, I like black's chances. I like knight on f6, I like h6, bishop h7, which might, need into, might lead into some um, complicated positions, mm -hmm. uh, and it favors black, of course, in this right. situation. And there's Jonathan Tisdale boldly stating the obvious. Mm -hmm in his tweet. Uh, As Russell. Grandmaster Jonathan Tisdale would point out. <laughs> yes. Uh, uh, or Jan uh, would point out. Uh, he must win all three of right. the remaining Fast Rapid games because they have two points each. And um, one point is good enough for Wesley to clinch. Nepo, in the meanwhile, with a five-point lead, needs to take three from the remaining ten. Yeah. Tough situation for number one and number two. This is a nice idea by Magnus, I yeah, must say. C6 and bishop c7, looking to play e5 I and say he one. He wants e5. I like and it. one go. I was wondering whether Wesley will go full kind of dark square Maroxy bind and try to play a move like d4, but instead he plays knight, knight f5. f5. Is he uh, just going to try to go win pawns? a pawn? Okay, that's certainly a page out of my book. But, uh -oh. he's, but he's thinking that e6, knight takes g7, and... He can retreat to the h5 square, which is a protected square, by the way. Yeah. Which is actually very, very nice mm -hmm. whenever you're getting a knight trap that it has a way home. Magnus missed that. And Magnus again, he nods, that. Yeah, he kind of nods his head like, ah, well, maybe you can't. You know, it's funny because the, things, the things you always highlight when we look at these positions, what are the weak pawns, right? Is it, and we saw it in the first game that uh, g2 was targeted by Wesley. Mm -hmm. Remember, he played knight f4 and queen g6 and stuff like that. So what Wesley, sticking with your Fisher rant, maybe he watched your videos on chess.com and he said, that's you know, very that's clever. <laughs> he has had some good advice there. I should look for some weak pawns. They, well, he's, and he's certainly looking for them. He, well, I mean, that is an amazing tactic. Again, it's Fisher random, you know, we, a move like bishop c7 looked really good to us, right? We, in, we initially looked at that move and said, oh, that's great. You're going to play for b5. I think knight, knight f5 knight was a surprise. Knight d5, knight g7, queen f8, knight h5, Okay, queen let's H have a look. I let's say a7 is hanging now, in some positions, now too. Now, again, uh, fortunately, after queen h6, a move you want, I understand you're attacking the pawn on f4 and attacking the knight on h5, uh, but the knight on h5 myself. is protected, <laughs> right? I don't believe well, it is, it is this one's heating up and going to give us action? Let's, let's see what's going on in the Karwana and Apomniyashi uh, game as well, so we can no, but remember, contrast and compare. Re re remember, it was the Bent Larson line. Nobody believes you. <laughs> Nobody <laughs> believes you. <laughs> I mean, if you don't believe yourself, uh -huh. I mean, yeah. believe in your ideas. Well, <laughs> the one yourself. on the right looks a l by, by the way, the one on the right... Uh, 
Can we see it on that board for just a second? Oh, you like? Okay, there we go. There we go. Yep. Thank Wait. you for that, uh, Peter. Uh, now we have now we have both games up, but we'll uh, we'll go back. I was going to say the one on the right is still Carwana and Upon Miyashi, and you see that somehow Carwana took a pawn on a7 and then went back went back and was able to tell the tale about it. So we're gonna we're gonna <laughs> we're gonna look at that a little bit in the, terms the, of what happened. The irony is in that in both games. Black seems to have lost a pawn somehow, um, but yeah. night befo before it's got a double hit. There's uh -huh. a sacrifice on d3 with a. I check don't like it for Fabi. I don't like it. Knight d3 okay. is, as you point out, is a big threat now. But okay, king b1. Knight d2. King b1. Rook a. Yeah, well, king rook a2 right. means that you're you might get your hand caught in the cookie jar. Rook a2, knight to c4 with the idea. Of maybe queen takes b4, uh -huh. keeping in and mind by the way, this some tricky. Yeah, bishop c4, d takes c4. You don't like queen. Queen take. b4, bishop b3. Yeah, at, yeah, at least I don't escape. lose uh, anything. Can, well done, well done. <laughs> no, but even well even done. this still looks okay for Fabi, right? Because the knight is undermined and yeah, yeah. exactly. But uh, maybe I will take knight a2 then. So king b1. Okay, knight a2. Okay, but that's not so. Uh, scary. Like yeah. if you go back with the rook, uh, Danny, and play knight takes a2, the best you can do is re reset, reload with knight back d4 to d4. d4 is the problem, no? d4, you, you, you can't. Yeah. Because you can't put the knight the pin, right? Yeah. Yeah, that looks. Uh, Pretty good. I just want to show quickly, how did A7 good. get stolen? It was just right <laughs> here, I guess, that somehow the center opened up and Fabi said, I'm, I'm going to take that guy if you ne give it to me. So ne Nepo was robbed, right. was robbed in broad daylight. <laughs> well, let, let's see what happens. It we know he said he was robbed earlier in his match with uh, Wesley So for the first day. but It was a heist. I think if we go back to the main marquee matchup, the one that has the world championship title on the line, the question is, will Magnus feel like he was robbed, that Wesley, like a thief in the night, yeah. stole the loot and got out? Yeah, He's just was, up a pawn. It, it was daylight robbery, no question about that. One. No, but y as you said, it's Fisher random chess, and so sometimes those patterns, it sounds like, okay, thanks, Captain Obvious, every time we do our thing, and as commentators reset and remind you, take a look at the weak pawns in a position, right? right. And that sounds, and sometimes, like a silly point, it doesn't become, uh, you know, a reality on the board, but in this case, you see that the best players in the world are capable of missing patterns that are not every day in classical chess. Yeah, these unusual uh, double hits, yep. like the pawn on g7, and then we saw Fabiano, uh, perhaps, perp uh, was, or was it Nepo, purposely gambiting his a7 pawn. Right. So those are the two weak pawns, and then in 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 the game pairs, we right. saw both pawns getting right. Uh, so Even. the question is, was either one really a gambit or a blunder? Straight up, right? <laughs> As Sopico feels believe, a little skeptical. I want to believe that the match goes on. <laughs> I have hard times. You've been times. enjoying commentary. I have hard yeah. times to believe it. But, okay, maybe we can find some, some pluses in Magnus' blunder. <laughs> 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 because, okay, we don't have is many problems to develop our pieces it now. It wasn't a blunder. It was like a happy mistake. Mm -hmm. Happy mistake. <laughs> I like that. Well, you yeah. saw his nod when it happened. He was like, <laughs> like I'm well, that's a to make mistakes. Yeah, with right. the, with the joyfully, joyfully. But, okay, uh, Wesley, again, as pragmatic as ever, he, there was a little bit of disharmony, disarray in his position. He said, okay, Magnus, I'll I'm willing to give the pawn back. Go ahead and take it and, and, and let's simplify look at that. the so position. Let's say Magnus goes into the end game and gets his pa his pawn, pawn back. back. And I'll go ninety four and I'll say, be a little you don't, bit. You don't want this. First of all, I didn't see that it was possible. <laughs> <laughs> Let me be very fun, very clear. Anyway, sorry. We'll go with but, your room ninety four. I was thinking, okay, I'll go ninety four. Like the previous game where I had the French and a great knight on d four. Here I have a great knight on e four. Just looks so good for white. This yeah, pawn is weak. Sort of the like dark squares uh, are weak. It just. I'm playing for a draw from a position. Of Wesley strength. is making everybody else feel like somehow his pieces. It's like how I feel every time I play a grandmaster. Their pieces <laughs> are always just. Right we've seen it. Better coordinated. We've seen it. Yeah. Uh, Castle's castle. long. There we go. A oh, castle short. Uh, it is a long. The I king. love that. I love <laughs> that move. <laughs> by the, the, the way. king went now, five squares. But if you're Magnus, you have to be a little happy to see that too. All right, this is your chance for some sort of attack. He put. Notice how fast he pushed g5. And, and look at the clock. He He's not down on time did. like he was in game one. Yeah. He did, but this looks like no, 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 no. Like just okay. 
Imagine bishop takes b6, like the worst move for white that you could possibly play, <laughs> <Okay>. right? <laughs> oh, God. Bishop takes b6. You want me to give up my favorite piece? Okay. Yeah, and knight h5. Like, where's this attack of yours? Uh, 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 that's Sopico uh, to answer. <laughs> Sopico, 92. Well, how does Magnus make this attack work? <laughs> this okay. attack is good. Okay, <laughs> e5, like and if g3, g4. Aha. Yay. Sopico so to the rescue. Go. <laughs> wow, queen uh, queen f3 moves to g2. I just forced you to play g3. <laughs> <laughs> well, that was okay. my trick. <laughs> but w but well, who tricked who? Because I was going to say it. It's you, if you move, I just win a piece. Oh, wait oh. a second. I'm not going to move. I'm going to no, sacrifice gonna sack. queen okay. d6. Aha. Uh -huh. Played with joy and happiness. Knight yeah. takes f4. Yeah? Oh. Yes, yeah, sir. Okay. I know. <laughs> 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 Sorry, Sopico, it's my fault. I put oh, you in that he's position. It. He's played it. He's uh, played it. E5 on the board. Here comes G3. <laughs> here comes G3. I, we reckon. I always do. Least make to me is not a good idea. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. In this case, uh, I mean, it's really Magnus's position is not good. His, his king is still needs to castle, so that's one tempo he's got to invest. Right. And he awful. needs something like E4, Knight E5 to really have any chances of making any kingside attack work. You've got to play, like, I can imagine, well, can I imagine it? G3, <laughs> queen f5. G3 looks good. It really um, does. And Wesley yeah. has no fear. It doesn't matter of the stakes. Magnus just sacrifices a piece by castling long. Right. By the way, I think Magnus just grabbed his rook and put it over. <laughs> I'm not kidding. Hey, I don't know if we yeah. can get an instant replay on that. I don't he think could. that Fide is going to have the goal, if you will, to stop the clock, but I'm pretty sure I just saw the rook hop over the king. Yeah, probably. He didn't, he, yeah, because the king is already on its square. Right? Right. Right. Uh, Wesley just, just playing very good. And, uh, but again, what, there's and nothing to do in that case because it's the only legal move for the rook, but technically you're supposed to touch the king first. I know. It's and again, a, I, uh, any, I'm just castle, any moves of castles is, by uh, Fide's definition, a king move. Right. So... Any time you make a king move, you're supposed to touch your king first. So castles mm -hmm. requires that you touch your king first. By the way, Wesley yeah. took this piece and said, Magnus, I Has think no you're fear. bluffing. Yeah. And the guess what? I think Wesley is right. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, the Sorry. problem with this pawn chain, uh, it, it looks very beautiful, it but you beautiful cannot move chain. it. Right. Every pawn pushes a pawn. You, you want to just look at it right now. Yeah. You want to stay right here. Yes. That's the problem. Like this is, this is as pretty as it gets. Yeah. Pretty picture. Yeah. Once you play F3, you give up the G3 yeah, I, I can square. Uh, maybe go after the pawn, but even just blockading yeah. is good. And another knight comes Playing to D4. Playing G4. Right. G4 hangs the pawn. Exactly. Exactly. So it, I would love to paint the storyline. This is it. This is the all-in moment. This is the attack. But I bet the pawns are frozen. Short of a soul blunder, this is just, it's just, a, it's more, much more desperation than... Magnus needs miracle now. Yeah. Total miracle. I mean, we knew coming in, he had put himself in an impossible mission. I mean, what he had to do was, would have been an epic comeback. Now it's very clear that he needs a miracle. Knight e2 to d4. Uh, idea as simple as he preparing yeah. to play knight f3, preparing to play rook e4. By the way, there's even a queen h3 check in the position. In some random spot. Five knights. So also, if black has nothing, there's a4, a5. Yeah. I mean, oh, pile on, why don't you, Danny? Come on. <laughs> I mean, this is terrible for Magnus. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, and once again, it's been Wesley so show. Wow. I mean, the he really has stolen. The, the Wesley I so mean, show. He's, he's also won the hearts of the Norwegian Th fans. Tens of thousands, if not hundreds of thousands of Norwegians. And uh, in fact, the lady who came up to me last night, which was just a fun experience for right. literally a fan on the street, right. to come up and ask if, we thought, if I thought Magnus had to come back, what does he need to do? And I was just having a conversation and she said, but you know, my heart strings are torn because obviously we love Magnus first, but we really love Wesley now. Like <laughs> everyone here really likes Wesley <laughs> and he's just so sweet. And, oh. and, and so she was like, you know, so I... If, if somebody had to win besides Magnus, then it's she was happy she's with okay Wesley, with yeah. Wesley. I mean, wow. Okay, that's endearing, uh, isn't it? I mean, okay, there is a trick. Uh, G4, Wesley, uh, pardon me. Knight, 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 knight of three, yeah. Knight B5, Knight B5 okay. attacking the Queen, Knight You're of three check. You're allowing Knight of three check here. Wait, is that is that the right move there by so? I think it is because... Because you can play Knight... Knight, uh, King three, H1. Three, no? No. Queen is hanging. No, 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 but it's taking knight, a check. Knight, knight, ah. 
knight f3, king yeah. h1. Yeah, you have to move the king because yeah. if you take this check. And, and the point is, you don't want to play king h1 because of queen d5. 97. But knight. Ah, uh, 90. Okay, so, but wait, but still, this seems kind of dangerous. No, Can it's I not, not bring no, my queen not. to the h? Oh, no, 97, 97 as well. Again. Now, if you well, go queen okay. d7, queen d7, then you take on f3. And yes. then you go check, ah, and then you take point, it, point. and you're just trading pieces. You're just well, trade, trade, trade. Leave it to our uh, amazing producer. I, I subtly said, I wish we had a replay on that, and because I did draw attention to how Magnus castled, Let's uh, take a look apparently he went and got it. it. Let's see the replay and get confirmation. Okay, now Magnus is Indeed. castling. Yeah. Indeed, no, I, my no eyes did not deceive me. There we go. That look, at he even made a gif. Yeah. <laughs> Way to go, Peter. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, again, so what's the right ruling? Obviously, in spirit, the right ruling is exactly what happened. They did nothing, as they should. But again, they stopped play in the Nepomniachi so match when Nepo did the same thing. Yeah. Is it because he's the world champion right now? And everyone's like, Look, we don't have, I'm not going to, I'm not going to irritate him and exhaust <laughs> with this. Or has Fide and the Arbiter sort of learned their lesson? Because right now, the official random newness of it all is unique enough that what should be the rule? If, if there's no legal way to, to really, do it, then move the rook then. I, I think what the world champion should have done in that exact moment was just kind of tip-tap his king, you mm -hmm. know, like, you're the, you're the man, and then just put the rook. Okay. Just touch A the A true king. professional would have flipped the rook in the air, slid the king, <laughs> and have it land right in the square. And won a diamond membership. And, and done it just like that. <laughs> no, okay. All right. Well, it, it is an interesting little storyline, and replay confirmed, so. Yeah. Nice. Now, here, Wesley's looking at knight. Well, obviously the queen is hanging, black's queen is hanging, but Wesley is looking at knight e7, check, take a rook, take the knight on f3, trade, trade, trade. I'm closer and closer and closer to my I coveted think draw. already knows that. That he's it's, got it in the bag? Yeah. Yeah. He has it in the pocket, and there's no way Magnus can come back from come this. Back. Yeah. Magnus is looking at the position and saying, where's my cheat bows? He's got that frowny kind of frumph. Wesley looking. And Wesley, seven minutes on the clock, plenty of time. Taking a look at the other game, just Again. trying to soak but it in a little bit, I guess. I mean, but what a moment. But his mindset is amazing. It's, it's been, again, you know, you talked about the right mindset. One of the daily questions we had is, what's the most important skill? for being a uh, Fisher Random player. Great you highlighted Fisher. kind of the, the ability to ride the swings, right? right? Well, maybe the even greater superpower is to not go on any swings. Mm -hmm. Wesley So is is like this while yeah. life is going like this. <laughs> I mean, he's just he's flat three meals a day. I get to play chess. What <laughs> else can a guy snacks. need, right? He's very happy. <laughs> I mean, he's very, very happy. By yeah. the way, one of the reasons why he is being endeared by the embrace by the Norwegian um, people is that uh, Lotus and Wesley said that when they're at home, they eat a lot of Norwegian food. Mm -hmm. yeah. like, really? Okay, this is good. He's good. A lot of good. salmon. Yeah, a lot of salmon. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah the, the, the breakfast at the buffet, uh, at, the, at the hotel has been uh, great, though. Wonderful. No, let's so, not talk about that. So, so, <laughs> Queen, I'm getting so this, is, this is what I think Magnus is like just yeah. frustrated about. Queen E7. Well, no Queen uh, E7. Queen, Queen D7, pardon me. Knight e7 check, king b8, rook takes f3, g takes and f3. And then you take the rook. Then you take the rook. There's also even a queen e5 check. And you rook love a4. this, but it doesn't even work. Uh, yeah. Oh. Uh -oh. And if you take the knight back, then queen takes f3. And you run out of time. the door is closed shut. And I the mean, last shot I might have is something like queen d5 and with threats of f2. Uh, this is queen where e5. I thought was the queen e5 check. No, but f2? Oh, it's check. Check. it's check. It's check. I'm sorry. Check. I had this fun line, like, I hoped you would play Puzzle this. Right. So I could do this and, and get the queen Sweet. with check. Okay, yeah. but Wesley yeah. indeed has Wesley. played 97 check. He's just taking without taking, even without questioning. Yeah. Oh, he's got knight f6. Yeah. Oh, he's got queen e5 check as well. So he's got yes. it all, as Wesley. He could play knight f6. He, he can take on f4 now, actually. Rook f4, I uh, want rook a4 mate. <gasps> Whoa! Sweet! Rook f4, threatening rook a4, that might be it. Oh, that, that might be how the Fisher Random World Chess Championship title is, is won with this move, Rook f4. Wesley. Okay. I thought of knight f6 was, a, was the tempo. Well, I, I think right now we're picking between the yeah, which I like. Baskin Robbins. Yeah. There's 31 flavors to win here. I mean, there's a lot yeah. of them. Yeah, knight f6. Okay, he goes knight f6. Rook f4 might have been the. Uh, but rook f4 would have been visual too. Well, you I know really what knight f6 like does? That. It actually makes rook f4 stronger because now you can't even trade queens. Yeah. That's right. 
So and here Magnus comes Rook F4 on the next up. move. He, Ma Magnus has, you know, I just saw him make a move, and the look he said is, Rook F4, I'm going to resign. Oh, for Dorm. Yeah. Rook F4, <laughs> he plays and it, and I resign. think this is about to be get, I think this is the... Yeah. And... Uh, this is America, the Fisher Random World Chess Championship America title. America can rejoice. Being won for the first time champion. ever and in history. <laughs> Wesley Stone wow, we is the first a... ever World Fisher Random Chess Champion. He and has uh, defied the odds, shocked the world, and come into Norway and taken the titles. Wow.